guys, Cinemaster Studios. Welcome back to the channel. What I have today is the uh, late 90s Sleeping Santa. So, or Snoring Santa. This guy is, um, I don't know if he's uncommon or not, but this one, uh, as you can see. Doesn't work. So, today, uh, I'm going to fix it. So, this one's a little bit different. I think the hat is actually string controlled on this one. So, as his, uh, as he inhales, his hat comes down, and then when he exhales, it goes up. So, it's a pretty cool feature, and, uh, Snoring Master Studios, what I have today is the late 1990s Jimmy Snoring Santa. So, this version is, I, I guess it's pretty rare, because, um, I used to have another one. It was a little bit longer, as you can see. This guy's not very big at all. This is my hand next to him, so... Yeah, he, he's not very big. Very small item. Um, yeah, I used to have another one of these, much bigger. Only the stomach went up and down, though. But on this one, the stomach, when he inhales, um, his hat comes down. And when he exhales, his hat goes up. His, so his hat moves, which is really cool, because I've never seen that feature on one of these. But anyways, he does not work, as you can see. Well, at least he didn't a moment ago. His mo I guess his motor was uh, locked up, but he still has a splitting gear. So today we're going to pull up the covers and we're going to fix that. So, yeah, let's get right into this guy's uh, foam layer in here. It's just completely deteriorating. You can see when I rub it, it's just kind of slowly. Uh, as you can see, there's already tons of dust everywhere and you can see it on my finger there it's just there's dust everywhere on this thing so um yeah i'm gonna try to remove this blanket move the light down here so you can see what i'm doing so okay so it's sewed on right there gonna clip that here we are um just gonna move his arm up his arm is made of wire the fire so it's not gonna break or anything all right so i know this thing sounds terrible when you move it so i'm just gonna try to do my best at keeping this thing quiet but anyways as you can see here's the string the string's glued on top and that's what, how it moves um apologize for the noise in the background someone is playing an instrument um so yeah here up here you can see where as this pulls up it, uh, it in return moves the hat. So, uh, yeah. Um, circuit board, of course. Speaker. There's just absolutely, there's tons of dust. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. But, anyways, let's start off by getting a screwdriver out. And... I might have to go get one. Okay, I will be back with you shortly. All right, so I got a screwdriver, and basically what I'm going to start doing is taking the screws out. Right here, as you can see, there's a screw holding that in. So I'm just going to fairly quickly take that out. So got this thing for Christmas. Um, grandparents found it at a yard sale, I believe. So you never know what you'll find at yard sales, but trust me, it's usually usually find good stuff there um so of course um sometimes you may not and okay this is getting sus so i don't know if you can see down in there or not but there is a uh, a dead ladybug down in there gotta get that guy out and it's snowing dust on my uh, desk here. Ah, come out of there, stupid thing. All right, let me, uh... There's the ladybug. Uh, don't know how old this guy is, but since this is from the late 90s, I'm gonna say this ladybug's probably at least 15 years old. So, yeah, very strange, but, uh, yeah, I gotta get rid of this thing, so I'll be back. Okay, so, got the ladybug out, and... 
I also just discovered this. Uh, speaker's broke. Gonna have to put a new speaker on it, unfortunately. But it won't, it won't take too much effort, so... Uh, yeah. So, I guess I'm just going to be able to open it up from the side. So, I'll do that. Remember to keep all your screws in a tub. Sorry, my hands are in the way. This thing is so small that I, I can't really... Uh, it's hard to show you guys this. There we go. So, I don't know if these screws have ever been out or not. So they're pr they probably bind it up a little bit on the plastic. And of course there's foam everywhere. I don't like this foam. Okay, now let's take the belt off. And the gear is splitting. You can just hear it. And since the gear is split, this guy's just going to slide out like that. So, now, oops. Okay, so now the mechanism's off. The cover. This thing has dust literally everywhere. And it's kind of strange. This is really yellowed for some reason. But on the other side, there's a gear. So I don't know if they just had some of these pulleys and they had an extra one with the gear. Because this is not the actual drive gear. Uh, the real gear is down in here. And, of course, it's covered in dust. And it is cracked. I don't know move the light again but as you can see that bad boy's cracked oh shoot well uh rolled away somewhere but yeah that, that thing's cracked not suitable uh yeah it's right here okay this guy's going in the trash so now it's time to put a new gear in and that gear was an eight tooth gear so, my camera keeps going. So, if you if you are ever going to get into old Jimmy items, the first thing you need to do is get gears. Because most likely, they will need gears. So, I've got my bag of 8-tooth gears here. You can order these off eBay, Amazon, anywhere like that. Okay, so, got the brand new gear. Never been used. <laughs> Blow all the dust out of this mechanism. I swear, this thing is dusty. Okay, <clears throat> put the new gear on. So this is this is kind of hard to do. I'll try to show you here. So basically, you want to get it on that shaft. So just got it on the edge there, and then take the sides, your fingers, press down. Now the gear is on the edge there, as you can see. So. In order to get this on, uh, I'm going to, oops. in order to get this on, I'm going to have to take a pair of pliers, like this, and then get on both sides of the gear, and then push down. And you don't, you do not want these to move, you gotta make sure that they stay nice and true with the shaft because if they move you'll it'll go over top of the side like this and then you'll strip your gear teeth out so yeah the new gear is on so let's push this dusty old motor back in here uh, i've been wanting to repair this for a while and i guess now is the a good time to do it just because i'm making these videos right now okay so back on and it's important to see if it's meshing and as you can see when I move this this should spin so we're gonna open this up and see 
what the problem is. And the problem is, I forgot to put this gear back in. So, oops, sorry about that. But, yeah, I forgot to put this gear back in. And you, you don't really want to forget to put these back. Because you will have a bad day if you don't put these back in. Now, I'm not sure really how this goes in. I'm assuming it's like this. Okay, yeah, that's how it is. Alright, so, yeah, just try to keep the gears in. Only gear you need to get out is the old gear, old drive gear. Most jimmies have 8 and 10 tooth gears. Now, sometimes you'll get a wild card with a 9 tooth in it. But most of the time, you don't you don't find 9 tooth gears in jimmy items. So, just look up inside the top. You can see there's a hole there. And, uh, just make sure that everything lines up. And let's see if it meshes. Oh, it's not all the way together yet. And this motor is making my life miserable. Okay, now let's see. Okay, something is still happening, so... We're gonna take this gear out again. Sometimes the shafts won't come out, so you have to get a pair of pliers and take them out. Now, take this, put it right here. I swear, dust is everywhere on this thing. I'm gonna have to change my clothes after this. Okay, now let's see. I've right, got to pull the motor in here. And line everything up. All right. All good to go. Push that back on. And what's not lining up now? Let's see. Okay, maybe it's this gear. So, yeah, these, these gears will get messed up if you don't be the moon. So let's try putting this one on here. Alright. That drives. And now put this one on. Alright, that, that's spinning nice and free. And pretty sure that's how it goes. So let's put it back. Then hold this motor in because apparently it's not uh, screwed in anywhere. This thing is, this is supposed to be a quick repair, but it's not really going as quickly as planned. Okay. So, now I think I got it. Uh, spin this motor a little bit. All right, now let's see. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so dump our parts back out on the table over here, or the desk. Put the belt back on. These are little screws. Like, they're, they're not microscopic, they're just stubby. And my screwdriver is now covered in this dust. Yeah, this thing was in desperate need of repair. Santa looks like he's drinking alcohol or something. Um, let's go ahead and put the, uh, the screw back in the side to hold it down while we're putting the screws in. All right, let's try it out. Now remember, his speaker isn't connected, it broke. All right, so it's working. Working quite well, actually. The only flaw to this design is um, 
whenever it goes up, there's a screw that stops it. And it should just be programmed to stop on its own because then it wears out the belt. So, honestly, don't know. Of course, this thing is ancient, so it probably doesn't even have the same technology that they had have now, or even in the early 2000s. That screwed in. Now, you don't want to get these screws too tight. You just wanted to get them to where they turn hard. I mean, you don't want to get to where they don't turn at all because then if you keep trying to turn them, it will snap the plastic and you will have a really bad day because then you'll have to glue the uh, mechanism shut. Anyways, let's pull his covers back down. All right, so he's pretty much back together. Have not fixed the speaker yet though, but um, I'll, I'll fix it eventually. So anyways, here is the activation. Like I said, doesn't play music, or, well, not music, it doesn't snore, because the speaker came off, but, as you can see, uh, pretty different design, you don't really see, like, more, a little bit more advanced animation like this, really, the only things you see are hip swingers that have the more advanced, the rest of the stuff's just kind of simple, like motionettes and marionettes stuff from back then, and then the snowman that turns his head and talks i have that too but uh anyways thanks for watching and as always don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video